Hi everyone, meet again with the adult recapped movie. In this video I will discuss a film called Ex Machina. So this film tells the story, there is a very smart and talented student from the IT department, whose name is Kel. Now this man gets a rare opportunity to live with a leader and researcher at an IT company called Blue Book. Finally, Kelp was dispatched by helicopter and taken to the house of the company's chairman. That person lived in a very secluded house in the middle of the forest. Hello? Dude! <laughs> Been so looking forward to this week with you. Long story short, Kelp met the owner of the house named Nathan. He immediately took Kelp around the house and told him where his bedroom was. But here he is negative, because the room he occupied is similar to prison. And Nathan suddenly gave a paper with an agreement. If Kelp, don't publish anything he saw at Nathan's house. Feeling that he had no other choice, Kelp finally agreed to Nathan's request. The next day, Kelp was immediately invited by Nathan to see his research. Hello. Hi, I'm Caleb. Ava. So, Nathan researched and built human robots that could adapt and learn about their environment. This robot is named Ava. Because this robot is not perfect, Nathan invites Kelp, as a student, to provide input and suggestions for himself. Oh man, she's fascinating. And she's fucking amazing. However, Kelp was amazed by what Nathan did. This project is amazing. He can make a robot almost like a real human. When at night strange things start to happen. Suddenly the electricity in Kelp's room goes out and he is locked in the room. But before long he finally made it out. He was walking down the hall in this house and he saw the landline. In his heart he wanted to call his friends, but it turned out that in the corner of the room there was Nathan who was drunk. Kelp was shocked to death. Because there was a bald man there, he finally found out about Nathan's true nature which turned out to be an alcohol lover. The next day, there was a Japanese woman who suddenly entered the Kelp room. Well, it turns out that this woman is Nathan's servant. The next day, Kelp continued Ava research with Nathan. So this Kelp is trying to build a relationship with Ava. Because this Ava every day only met with Nathan alone. Finally Kelp chatted with Ava. Until suddenly Ava's conversation became serious. And instigated Kelp not to trust Nathan. While having dinner Nathan told me that recently there were frequent power outages in his house. And he also asked Kelp. What was he talking about during the power outage? Because Nathan couldn't see and hear anything while there was a power cut. Well, it turns out that the cause of the power outage at Nathan's house was Ava's doing. Therefore, Kelp looked at Ava from the CCTV in her room with a face full of desire. We could go together. It's a date. The next day, Kelp unceremoniously asked Ava for a walk together. Ava also understood what Kelp meant. She opened her wardrobe and put on her clothes and hair. So this is what Ava would look like if she dated with Kelp. Look. Good. All of this of course made Kelp even more excited seeing Ava undress in front of Kelp. Actually here the Kelp started arguing with Nathan about Ava's attractiveness. Why a robot has a passion for humans? But with a little explanation from Nathan. Kelp understood, and finally continued his research again with Ava. But as time goes on, Ava becomes more and more serious about her feelings for Kelp. It turns out that this Japanese waitress is also a robot. Apart from being a servant he was also used as a means of satisfying Nathan's lust. Starting from accompanying Nathan to bathing, getting drunk, and dancing together. Unexpectedly. The robot suddenly revealed its feelings to the Kelp. When there is a robot who is passionate and he now confesses his feelings to us. Because of the feelings that swirled in Kelp's heart. Kelp finally got up the courage to take Nathan's access card when he was unconscious because he was drunk. And he made it into Nathan's room. Then immediately look for the secret that Nathan is hiding in this house. Because Kelp is proficient in programming, he can easily access all of Nathan's research files. And what a surprise, it turns out that Nathan actually made a female robot. He turned out to have made various versions and forms, ranging from Asia, Europe, and America. Then all the robots are used to release their lust and are treated as Nathan wills. What Kelp saw finally made his mind go wrong. In his heart he spoke. Am I a robot? Suddenly he takes a knife and then he slashes the skin of his hand to prove that he is a human or a robot. And it turns out that this kelp is 100% human. Finally, kelp believes and cooperates with Ava to make a plan to trap Nathan and let Ava escape from Nathan's house. 
But it's not that easy, Nathan is also a smart person and he installed a surveillance camera that is not connected to electricity. Finally, Nathan heard all the conversations and plans made by Kelp and Ava. So, Nathan actually brought the Kelp to his house to test whether the robot named Ava was able to influence and deceive real humans. And proven. If Ava can affect humans. From that research, it is evident that now Kelp likes Ava. Suddenly the power goes out according to Kelp and Ava's plan. Ava miraculously came out of her room and of course surprised Nathan. Unexpectedly, Ava also secretly cooperated with the Japanese robot because she was already annoyed with Nathan. And finally, this is what happened to Nathan. He was suddenly stabbed from. Same Japanese made in the back and stabbed in the front by Ava. After Nathan was helpless, Ava immediately took Nathan's access card to escape from this house. And don't forget to take a fake skin and attach it to her body, which makes her look like a real human. And what happened next, Kelp was ignored and locked up in Nathan's room alone. The robot immediately left and left Kelp and Nathan as well. So it turns out that this Kelp is only used by robots so that he can be free. Not only Kelp, the Japanese waiters were also invited to work together to help make it easier for Ava to escape from Nathan's house. The film ends with the robot Ava successfully going to the free world and leaving the kelp alone and locked up in Nathan's room without lights and food. Actually this film shows how dynamic a technology is that we don't know and can't predict what a technology will be like that can be positive or can be negative. Yes, that's about our film this time entitled Ex Machina released in 2015. What do you think? Write in the comments column if you like content like this. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss other interesting videos.